This is Becky Legiro here today with Steve Shatter, CTO of Enchain. Some exciting news today. We have the Quasar upgrades. So Steve, can you please tell our audience what has happened today and what this means for the Bitcoin ecosystem? The Quasar upgrade is a, um, a protocol upgrade. It's a, it's a forking protocol upgrade, so it actually requires everyone in the ecosystem to upgrade their software. It's kind of a preparation for the Genesis upgrade next year. So the, the key change uh, um, in, in this particular protocol upgrade is uh, a change in the default block size. Uh, the default is being raised from 128 megabytes to 2 gigabytes. Uh, miners, however, are intending to manually set the limits, uh, their, their own hard caps to 512 megabytes. Okay, so if the miners are setting their default to 512 megabytes, then why the 2 gigabyte? Uh, simply because it allows the miners flexibility to exercise the governance role that they're supposed to play in the Bitcoin block size. The instances of Bitcoin SV that are not actually involved in mining, uh, we refer to them as blockchain listeners because they don't actually write the blockchain. They don't really have any influence over the maximum size uh, of blocks that are, ex uh, are, are being mined rather, but um, they still have this limit in place temporarily for another six months or so um, that governs what they will accept. So. It allows the miners the flexibility to raise their limit later on from 512 to 1 gigabyte or 1.5 or any number in between and all of the other listening nodes are going to still um, accept those blocks. So um, it's very important, I think, uh, from a cultural perspective in, in, in Bitcoin, because what we're trying to do is shift the responsibility for block size governance uh, away from developers and put it into the hands of miners. Okay, very good. And you said before that this upgrade is, is part of the path to the road to Genesis, which we have coming in February. Can you give us a bit more detail on why what's happened today is leading us down that path? Uh, indeed, I mean, um, primarily it's uh, it's the uh, behavioural retraining, I suppose, of the of the Bitcoin ecosystem. So there'll be two potential consequences of this. Uh, the first I mentioned before, which is the miners beginning to take a very active role in um, in choosing the, um, uh, the the maximum block sizes they'll accept. But also, as miners start to do that, uh, until they get kind of into perfect sync on the next number up. Um, what we will start to see is more orphans on the on the Bitcoin blockchain. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that's tr traditionally been considered to be a bad thing uh, in history, uh, in, in, in the history of Bitcoin, but um, there's a bit of a misunderstanding because the, um, the simple fact that orphans can occur um, is actually a part of the core design. Um, it's, it's the disincentive for miners not to be in sync with the other miners, it's the disincentive for them uh, to uh, be recalcitrant about upgrading their hardware and their, their, their capacity, etc. So the whole ecosystem needs to uh, kind of start getting used to the fact that this is a normal part of Bitcoin life. Very good, it's just as Satoshi intended. Uh, Steve, so for the people out there that maybe don't follow the Bitcoin ecosystem on a daily basis, people that are not miners, regular people out there, why is this upgrade exciting for the Bitcoin SV ecosystem and why should people out there care? Well, I mean, we've taken away all the barriers to potentially being able to break the gigabyte uh, block limit. We've already seen blocks greater than one gigabyte. That's a huge milestone because it's a thousand times the limit that the other Bitcoins are working with. And it really shows that, uh, that Bitcoin can actually scale. We do come under some criticism because um, we can make bigger blocks using big data transactions. Well, I think big data transactions were always meant to be part of, uh, of the way that Bitcoin worked. Um, Satoshi's original design allowed for a four gigabyte transaction, a single transaction, not, not, not even a block. Um, so um, being able to handle that kind of scale of volume of data uh, is, is, is just one of the requirements of, of Bitcoin. Very uh, good, Steve. So we'll keep up the amazing work at Enchain. Thank you so much for joining me today.